Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kara Simon, it is time to brawl, and today we're going to cover four things that you should do before the update actually lands, because uh, otherwise it just may be too late. And I'm going to talk about when I think the Brawl Stars update is actually going to land. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so the very first thing, uh, we know that a new brawler is coming into the update because Ryan talked a little bit about it in the community round table that was over on Lex's channel, so make sure you guys go check that out if you have not. And we currently have three rare brawlers, we have three super rare brawlers, we have three epic brawlers, we have three legendary brawlers, and we have two mythic brawlers. So, my guess is that the next brawler is going to be a mythic brawler to to complete the sequence of three brawlers for every ra ra rarity. I don't know if Super Seven really cares about that, but that's my guess. With that being said, my first tip that you should do before the update actually lands is save your boxes. And even after the update lands, you should maybe even least consider saving your boxes, okay? Because Mythic Brawlers have a very low chance of actually dropping. And for me, honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to do like a massive um, unboxing video where I just like show a ton of boxes until I, I hope that I get, like, I have all these free boxes saved up, but I don't know if I'm gonna use them because I, I have a maxed account and I'm going to want to at least reserve about 90 boxes after I get the Brawler in order for me to actually max out the Brawler because it's about 90 boxes based off of my calculations for you to actually get the power points to max out a Brawler and I already have all of the gold that I need. I have 50,000 plus gold, so that's not a problem for me. So, honestly, if it's a Mythic Brawler, um, you can just buy that for 10 bucks probably the day after. And so I'm actually considering just saving my boxes, at least saving until I have like 100-ish boxes to make sure I can up max it out and then just buying it and then upgrading the Brawler. Maybe you'll want to follow that advice, maybe you won't. It just kind of depends on how where you are at in your progression in the game. Now the second thing that I would recommend doing is grinding out Robo Rumble with for all of your tickets that you have this weekend, okay? And the reason why is because right now we are on the map where you can actually do the exploit for Robo Rumble to get max coins every single time or tokens every single time. I did a video on it. It's really easy. You just take El Primo and as soon as you charge up your super, you go up to the very top of the wall and then your other your, your other two teammates basically take care of the rest of the, the few other bots that actually spawn. It's Super easy for you to get max coins every single time. Six minutes and 15 seconds is what you need to do. Go crazy in Robo Rumble this weekend, guys, because my guess is they are going to be patching the exploits so that you actually will not be able to do it in the future Robo Rumble maps. Now, the third thing that I would do if you are one that actually goes and buys the skins in game, I would highly recommend purchasing the skins for the brawlers that we know are getting 3D remodels, okay? So we know from the most recent video, if you compare Colt, and I think that that's a Rico, a Rico remodel. I don't think it's a new brawler guys um, so we know Colt Ricochet are actually getting those remodels and so what I would recommend doing if you haven't already I would recommend purchasing the Rockstar Colt and the Golden Rico before the update lands because last update what they did is they actually had the Viking Bull it was originally a 30 gem skin and they remodeled and made it way cooler and they increased it up to 80 gems my guess is that either Rockstar Colt or Golden Ricochet will actually increase in cost because the value is going to be better the skins are gonna look way cooler and so you might actually be able to save some gems just by doing that before the update actually lands. Additionally, if we do find out before the update happens that there are other 3D models, you may want to consider purchasing their skins as well. The fourth thing I would recommend doing is exactly what you see in the gameplay right over there, and that is to push Leon. <laughs> If you have Leon, now is the time to grind out trophies with him and push him because we know that he's getting a massive nerf and he's not going to be nearly as strong as he was before the update. He's going to be strong, I think, still. I still think maybe Supercell might have considered, like, doing another butt or another nerf to him, but <laughs> I mean, this gameplay right here, that's well above 500 trophies. It's just easy wins is Leon right now, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, those are the four things that I would recommend doing before the Brawl Stars update happens. And now let's talk about when I think Brawl Stars is going to have their update. Now there are two types of Brawl Stars updates. The first is just like a balance change. We're not getting that kind of update. We're getting the second type of update, which is a full-blown new update, adding content, making changes. Now, typically, what I have noticed for what Brawl Stars does is that once we get the first sneak peek, it's usually we get the update within at least five days. So that being said, that means Wednesday, 
by the latest, I think that we will have a Brawl Stars update. Don't be upset if it's not actually happening because uh, stuff can happen. But I'm like 80% sure that we'll have an update by next Wednesday. So make sure you guys get excited for that. Also, make sure you subscribe to the official Brawl Stars YouTube channel. Typically, before they actually do an update, they will also release a Brawl Talk where they discuss some of the things that are coming in the game. And of course, subscribe to my channel because I will be giving you guys the sneakiest peeks of them all. And uh, if it's anything like like previous sneak peeks, I will be incredibly thorough and in giving you every change that is coming to the game. So uh, make sure you stick around for that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to get these, this out to you guys, and I don't believe in making videos longer than they need to be. Uh, for now, <laughs> this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.